Hey everyone, welcome back to more Pico CTF 2017. Getting started, beginner's level stuff into the capture the flag competition and the hacking cybersecurity scene. So we just finished up Leaf of the Tree, another 20 point challenge. We're moving into some harder, more difficult challenges. So let's keep on that trend. Let's keep that trajectory. So this is another miscellaneous category challenge called Long. 20 points. It says, I heard you have some delusions of grandeur about your typing speed. How fast can you go at shell2017 picoctf.com 44840? Um, so that style, that syntax, that kind of the typing thing that we're used to is given that host name that we've seen before and a port number that we've seen before. Um, just like when we did Internet Kitties, that challenge to use Netcat for the first time. So when you would see a, a colon in between a host name and a port, that's the syntax, that's pretty much the style. Okay, I want to use that port on that host. So it's probably saying that that is the service that we want to connect to with Netcat. So let's use that same command, nc, and then Netcat. Remember, it doesn't use that colon style syntax. It has a space between the uh, host name and the port number. So 44840, or whatever your port number is. Let's connect to it. It says, to prove your skills, you must pass this test. Please give me the W character 652 times, followed by a single zero. To make things interesting, you have 30 seconds. What? Oh, geez. Okay. Let's hold down the W, but, but... wait, that sucks. How are we going to know how many times we've typed a W? I can just, I guess I can just hit whenever I feel like I'm ready, but this is going really slow. There's no way we're going to have 652 W's ready. Oh, jeez. Too slow. Looked like it just timed out. Okay. Uh, well, okay. Yeah, W's not a command, right? That didn't work for us. So let's move on and figure out how we can do this. Let's see. Hints here. Use the netcat command to connect. Cool, we got that. I hear Python is a good means among many to generate the needed input. It might help to have multiple windows open. Huh. Okay. Uh. Well, I don't want to have multiple windows open at this shell. Let's... Hmm. Okay, so you guys remember, I'm trying to use this as a good segue to move into getting started with our own Linux virtual machine, our own Linux uh, operating system and distribution that we can use, and we're not strapped to just this shell or this web shell in the Pico CTF game. So let's go ahead and try and get a, I don't know, a virtual machine or a virtual box or a means of actually going ahead to try and create a new computer inside of our own computer. So VirtualBox is a good free means of actually doing this. And if you've never heard on that idea of creating a virtual machine, it's kind of like having a computer inside your computer. If you go to virtualbox.org and just go in through Google, stuff like that, uh, there's a big download button and you can see there's a save option. Okay, cool. So we'll go ahead and download that. Along with it, that will give us the means to create our computer or our new Linux operating system. It, all it takes is like a disk or like a CD to actually run a new operating system. But, whoa, we don't have any physical CDs or disks to be able to do that with, right? That's okay. All we need is an ISO file. And if you've never heard of those, that is like an image file or not, a, not an image like a picture, but an image of like a captured disk or a captured computer or a captured operating system or distribution. It's an archive file of an optic disk. A type of disk image composed of the data compo components of every written sector on the disk, including the like file system or operating system and stuff like that. So once we've got VirtualBox downloaded, we can go ahead and run that and install it if we want to. I'll go ahead and hit next through all these things because I'm just a Windows noob. <laughs> I'm teasing, I'm teasing. Uh, and register file associations to create start menus. That's just fine. Networking will reset your network connection and temporarily... Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't really want that to happen just yet. Let's go ahead and get the Ubuntu image thing downloaded first. So I said Ubuntu because that's the distribution that I would recommend to just get started in Linux. You can Google Ubuntu and that is kind of... I don't want to say the de facto standard because that's not right, but it's like the most common. It's the most, uh, I can't say famous because that's not right either, but it's its the most friendly, the most Windows-like operating system to actually get engaged with Linux. So once you get to Ubuntu.com, you can go to desktop because we're just going to run it on our computer 
whether or not that's a laptop or whether or not that's a desktop, you can see all these pictures of people using Ubuntu. Download Ubuntu, click the big green button, and they're on 1804 LTS. So let's go ahead and hit download. We don't need to uh, donate if you want here. It says, thanks for downloading your Ubuntu desktop. Your download should start automatically if it doesn't start now. Looks like it's good. We want to save this. It's Ubuntu 1804 desktop, um, 64 processor in my case, and ISO file. So save. It is 2 gigs, so it is going to take a little bit of time. Um, we will wait for this to actually finish downloading. I'll pause the video, and hopefully things will be good pretty soon. And then we'll get underway with actually installing VirtualBox, setting up a virtual machine, and getting Linux installed. So, be back in a little bit. All right, so I just checked in. It looks like Ubuntu did finish downloading. Um, so, now we can go ahead and proceed with the installation of VMware, or, I'm um, sorry, VirtualBox. Yes. Saying yes to some of these things. I'm wondering if it drops my network connection, if it'll come back up, or if it won't. Um, yep. <clears throat> I'm okay to entrust. I trust these things. I am running a virtual machine to run this Windows box, so <laughs> this may be some virtual machine inception for a little bit. Get a virtual machine inside of my virtual machine, but once VirtualBox opens up, you'll see you can have an option on the top left to create new, and then you can call this one whatever you want, like Ubuntu or Ubuntu Linux. Um, I'm not going to give it a whole lot of memory because I'm already running a lot, so... Let's just see what happens. Hopefully nothing breaks. Hopefully nothing crashes. Create a hard disk. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter the selections you make here, so new is kind of just fine. Again, I don't think I'm going to give it a whole lot of space because this is very temporary. It's just to show you the process. So once you have that machine created, <clears throat> it's kind of just a thing, but you need to give it a startup disk. So once you click the Ubuntu icon and over and over again to actually create the virtual machine to start it up. You'll want to select the startup disk so that browse icon, or kind of like the, the folder there, you can go over to your downloads, navigate to the Ubuntu ISO image that you downloaded, go ahead and click start, and we'll see how this goes. Looks like, cool, my virtual machine crashed. That's okay. <laughs> um, I do want to I didn't want to go through that to show you, okay, that's the setup procedure. Um, once you've got something set up and installed, um, it'll, you'll go through the Ubuntu installation that I think I've shown in another video. And eventually you'll be complete. You'll have an Ubuntu desktop. It will be all purple. It looks kind of like mine. I'll showcase this right here. It'll look similar to this. Um, you may not have Unity as your shell. You'll probably have GNOME, which will give you like an activities thing up on the top left. If you hit the Windows key, you'll be able to open applications and try things, like the terminal, like the shell or the same command line uh, box we were using inside of the Pico CTF window. Except rather than it being a web shell, you're running the real computer program. You're running the real uh, program on your own Linux machine. Inside of a virtual machine, but if you want to get full screen, you can zoom into it, and you'll make it look like, okay, you are running a Linux computer. I'm on Ubuntu 16.04 LTS, because I like running Unity, I like having the hotkeys. Gnome Shell, and the, the desktop viewer that you ended up having, um, doesn't have all of those things, so the hotkeys that I particularly like. But, you will still have an Ubuntu terminal, you'll still have Linux, and you'll still be able to do interesting things. So... Um, hopefully that will get you geared up and running. I'm going to make the transition in these videos now to running Linux. Um, if you need more of a hand-holding thing to set it up, I can certainly do that. But hopefully getting just that virtual machine or that virtual box downloaded, the ISO downloaded, you can piece together running the install, creating an account for you on Linux, and then you'll have an operating system that you can use and open up Firefox, go to Pico CTF, and we'll just get back to playing the same game we were playing. We'll solve some more challenges. Cool. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, before I go, I do want to leave a little shout-out for my supporters on Patreon. Spencer Clark, Gal Horowitz, Suzuki Attila, and Orgolothia and Really Destroy of Worlds, Bastion of Terror. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. One dollar a month can give you, at least on Patreon, um, one dollar a month can give you this shout-out just like this at the end of every video. Five dollars a month will give you access to all of my content before it's released on YouTube in case I get it early. So, uh... 
Hey, if you did like this video, please press the like button. Uh, maybe if you want to leave me a comment, let me know what you think, what else we can do, um, what more you'd like to see. Uh, if you're willing to subscribe, and if you'd like to support me, check me out on Patreon. Thanks so much. See you soon.